WordPress 6.9 is scheduled to be released just in a few weeks as I'm recording this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you the top improvements that are coming to WordPress 6.9 and there are plenty of them out here. And by the way, if you want to test it out yourself, you don't have to mess with your site. You can use the WordPress Playground, which is a free service uh, that you can use to test out WordPress and install the plugin WordPress Beta Tester, which you can see on my screen. With that, let's get started with the improvements in WordPress 6.9. So I'm going to be demonstrating the differences live with two websites side by side. This one is WordPress 6.8 and this one is 6.9. Now, how do you tell the difference? Of course, I'll try to overlay things on screen and say things that, hey, I'm doing this. And you can see this bar here. And this bar is a signature of the WordPress Playground, which is WordPress 6.9 for this use case. So let's get started with the first feature, which is very powerful and useful if you have a lot of team members working on your website, especially when writing kind of content. So if you're the one who's checking out comments, who's checking out, hey, we need to make ch uh, changes, or if you have a team that writes content, this is a very powerful feature. And this comes not, I would say, I wouldn't say it's an inspiration, but you're probably familiar with this feature if you're coming from Google Drive or Google Docs, if you use it a lot. And the feature is called the notes feature. So let me show you how it works. So on any document, pages and posts you have, when you're in the block editor, you can click a specific block and go to the menu here and you find a lot of options here, which I'm uh, demonstrating on screen. Now, this is the WordPress 6.8 menu. So nothing specific, nothing stands out. But if you go to WordPress 6.9, you should start seeing a couple of new features. For example, let's click the image block here. I'll click here and you'll start seeing add note. This is the new feature. You can leave notes on specific blocks for your team members to see. So if I click here, now you can leave, I can probably write, hey, let's change this image and then I can just add this note and just the note will be added here. And of course, similar to how uh, notes work in Google Docs, the note, uh, who leaves the note, you see that here. So right now my username is admin, so I can see it here. When was it left? And you can respond to it and you can respond to yourself or other team members can respond to it. You can mark it as resolved or you can go here, edit and delete. And once it's resolved, you can reopen like uh, the comment and just work with it. And if you want to hide the notes menu, you can always click here and do this and notes will be hidden. You can always switch back to notes here and then use the notes feature. I think it's pretty powerful if you have a lot of team members, uh, if you review a lot of content on your website and leave notes, instead of using other software to leave comments and notes, this is a much more easier and straightforward way to manage those comments right here in the block editor. The next feature is one of my favorites in WordPress 6.9 and that is hiding blocks. Now, if you've designed a lot of pages in WordPress, one of the problems you have is if you make changes live, it actually affects your live page. So what I used to do was make a duplicate, change the URL, make changes to that, then mess with it, copy and paste blocks. It's not a very easy process. So the hiding blocks uh, feature is actually very powerful. So you can make changes something and then hide it and launch show. So what, how does it work? How do you actually use it? Let me show you. So this is WordPress 6.8. And once again, if you want to use the feature, you have to go to a specific block, use the menu. And of course in WordPress 6.8, you won't see the menu entry here. You'll have to go to WordPress 6.9. So this is 6.9. For let's say for example, I want, I uh, have this block. For example, I'll use this block and let me just use the parent block. So let's say call to action block. So once you've selected the block, in this case, I have selected the entire call to action block, but this works with paragraphs, headings, any blocks. The group block is, uh, or using it with a group block, in my opinion, is more powerful because you can hide the entire group and then add it. Also works if you have a limited time thing you want to enter and like show that, hey, this offer is running. So you can design the block uh, beforehand and then just make it live. So what you can do is you right click or no, not right click, just click on the $3 menu and you'll have the option to hide the block here. So you can see here, if I hide the block, this block goes away. And if I save and update this, and if I go to the live section of this page as well, this is before I hit the block, I opened it already. So you can see this is the block which was available here. And if I refresh the page, this block is now invisible. So you can make changes, add things to your website on specific pages and posts, and hide them so that users won't see it. So this gives you a lot of flexibility, adding things, changing things, making changes around, very powerful. But the next question is, how do I get the blog back? So it's pretty easy. All you have to do is go to the list view here. This is uh, not on your future. The list feature or the list view is already available in WordPress 6.8 as well. So you click here and you see the block is there in the list view. It has an icon here, which is a, this is the hidden block. So once again, you can uh, use the three dot menu, go back and click show. And now it starts showing once again on the block editor and also on the uh, front end of the website. The next feature is also very powerful for power users and people who are uh, familiar with WordPress and want to get things done faster. This is a very useful feature. So you're probably aware of the command palette. So you can hear, so you can see it here. Click here, the command opens and you can always press control K to open the command palette. 
And this works with WordPress 6.8 as well. So you're thinking, hey, what's the new feature here? So let me go back to the dashboard or the main uh, dashboard. I'll switch here as well. And then I'll show you what the difference is with WordPress 6.8 and 6.9. Now coming to the uh, dashboard of WordPress 6.8, if I press Control K, you see, it doesn't open the command palette. It actually opens up the browser. And you can do some things. Uh, you can see my recent, uh, I'd say, the URLs are opened up. So I'll hide that probably. So that doesn't, uh, or the command palette doesn't work in admin area, it only works when you are actually editing a page or post or inside the patterns or changing those. But in WordPress 6.9, it works differently. If you press Control K, it automatically opens the command place or command palette. Now I can use this to instantly go to posts, which is a much faster way in my opinion, rather than using the mouse because I prefer the keyboard. So again, once again, uh, I'd say a quality of life improvement for personally me, because if you have a lot of plugins, a lot of menu entries, you wanna switch things around quickly, navigate to certain areas, I think this is a very powerful feature in WordPress 6.9. The next update in WordPress 6.9 has to do with full site editing. So if you're using a blog based theme and use full site editing features to create templates, patterns, this might be useful. Earlier, if you created a custom template from this menu inside templates and you switched your themes, your custom templates were lost. But this is fixed in WordPress 6.9. If you create custom templates, even if you change the theme, the custom templates will be retained in WordPress 6.9. And you also have a few quality of life improvements when it comes to templates. Now you can see the revisions directly using the three dotted menu, edit them, duplicate them, and a few other additional changes, which makes it easier to work with templates in WordPress 6.9. The next few updates in WordPress 6.9 come from having new blocks. So let me show you some new blocks. So if you wanted to show and hide elements on screen, most of the time, the details block was something that you used. For example, if I add the details block here and I can add something here and then I, I can add something here. For example, let's add this and then you can hide and show and then you can add nest and columns. But the new feature or new block inside WordPress 6.9 gives you the functionality without having to mess with this. It's called the accordion block. So I've already added it here. Let me show you first and then I should demonstrate the block again. So if I click here, you can see instantly the accordion opens. The accordion is much easier to use and you can add multiple columns. So what I did here, I just added the accordion block, added a columns block, uh, use the three uh, column menu or three column option here, and just added an image. Of course, you can do a lot of things here. And if you click out, the accordion automatically closes. Let's publish this page so we can test out how it looks on the front end. And let's view the post here. So you can see here, this is the accordion and this is the, not the accordion, this is the details block and this is the accordion now. So this is a native feature or native block now in WordPress, which makes your job easier when adding accordions. For example, you can use it for adding FAQs on your site or important pages, which is very useful for landing pages, even uh, product pages, all sorts of pages. So welcome addition to WordPress 6.9. The next new block in WordPress 6.9 is a terms query block. Now you're probably aware of the query block or query loop block. So if I add it here, you can see the query loop. So query loop is used to loop through all your let's say, posts and pages. So if I enter that here, you can choose and then start again. But what if you wanted to show the actual terms? That means the taxonomies, categories, tags on your site. For example, uh, you create a, I'd say bread comes of all the categories on your page, anything else. So for that, we have the new block called the terms query. So now if I add the terms query block, oops, terms query, if I add this, now we can share the name and name and count. So if you just show the names, that will just show the names of the specific category or tag or other taxonomy that you want to show, or the count will also show how many actually posts and uh, other kind of post types are in that. Let's start with the posts here. And for this, we don't have, or this is just a demo site setup. So there's no tags, no categories here. So by default, it shows the uncategorized, which is just one default category inside WordPress 6.9. But you can go here and change categories to tags or other taxonomy, and then you have uh, order and selected terms so you can filter them out for example you want to just show specific filters specific uh, taxonomies then you can add them here you also have the option of showing empty terms and also showing nested terms so if you have nested categories you can show that here as well and you can also set the maximum lid i think it's a very powerful new feature which helps you i'd say keep users on the page add important categories so users are reading a specific blog post on a specific category a nice idea to lead them to the category page directly uh, of the specific term I think you, there's a lot of flexibility in how you can use or how I can or we can use this new block in WordPress 6.9. Another block that's coming to WordPress 6.9 is the math block. Now to add mathematical equations, I think the correct term is latex equations. I'm not sure about that. You need to add an external plugin right now with WordPress 6.8, but WordPress 6.9 introduces the math block, which makes this easier. So let me demonstrate. So all you have to do is just come to the block editor 
and type in the math block. And once you're here, you can add the equation here. So I'll just sim enter a simple equation, E equals mc square. And you can see instantly now it's visible right here in the correct formatting in WordPress. And you can click here and again, change the equation, whatever you like. I think very welcome, very easy to use, and I think very powerful as well. Another new block that's coming to WordPress 6.9 is the time to read block. Again, this functionality was reserved for plugins. You need to add a plugin so that the time to read is displayed somewhere. But WordPress 6.9 makes it easy. So just add the time to read block. And now you can see the time to actually read the blog post is visible. And of course, you can add the block anywhere. You can add it to the top of the page, the bottom page, anywhere you like. Easy. Instead of using plugins, now we have this functionality native in WordPress. So those are the important changes happening that you can experience right here in WordPress. But there are also a lot of things happening behind the scenes from a development perspective, which even if you're not a developer, will be very useful to understand. WordPress is now embracing AI and AI workflows so that it can help you cre create and publish content faster. So let me talk about some of the AI improvements or other behind the scenes or I'd say under the hood improvements happening in WordPress 6.9. So one of the big changes happening in WordPress 6.9 is the Abilities API. It's a new API that WordPress is creating, which allows AI tools to access and do operations in WordPress. So think about this. Anytime you wanted to make any changes to WordPress website, you probably use code. That means a plugin. So you install plugin or you change code. But how about we use AI tools to actually make changes to our website? So the technical definition is a little different and I'll overlay an image here, which gives you the introduction or makes you understand the architecture of what is going to happen. But the simple idea is that the Abilities API gives a shared language that humans and AI systems can understand. So for example, if you install a plugin on site, they can register that, hey, we can do this XYZ functionality, which can be, hey, optimize blog post or do something like that. And then that ability can be exposed via the API or something else to AI tools as well. So in the future, I'm assuming you'll be able to connect your chat GPT to go say, hey, optimize this blog post on my WordPress website and can go do that via the, or via the Abilities API. To be honest, this is quite exciting for me because it'll open up a lot of workflows and make the management of the website quite easy. And I think more tools will open up to help you design websites, uh, manage websites, optimize content, uh, do a lot of analytics and a lot of good stuff. So I'm very excited for the Abilities API. So apart from this, WordPress 6.9 is also doing some improvements to performance. If I read out the technical definitions, if you're interested, output buffering is improved, uh, classic themes should load faster, less render blocking should happen, and server performance should improve because cron jobs uh, are improved as well. And apart from this, the interactivity API and block binding API has also improved. So if you're a developer, you should see better results or you should be able to do something interesting or better with these APIs. And to state the obvious, WordPress 6.9 will be the last major update in 2025, and it will not include a new theme as it usually does. So that's WordPress 6.9 coming to a website near you in just a couple of weeks. Which your favorite feature? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more interesting updates like this. My name is Yuvraj. You're watching Double Beginner. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.